Behind that person will be a council of what they call wise men who will really be the rulers. This poor guy is just going to be the fool they stick out there to take the brunt of the public wrath whenever it's necessary. And you can knock him off if you want to. They just put somebody else up there. That's why I've said over and over and over again, so what if you impeach Clinton? So what? Who's going to take his place? Huh? Al Gore. <laughs> and if you bump off Al Gore, who's going to take his place? <laughs> Whoever else they want to put up there because you don't have a choice. You think you have a choice. You don't have any choice, even if you vote. Because the choices that they give you to vote on all belong to them. Why do you think Charles Collins and Rosemary could not get in the debates? Could not get on ABC, NBC, the Communist News Networks, or any of the rest of them? Why do you think the American people were never shown them as a choice? Because you're not going to get a choice. They will put two or three up there for you to vote on. All belong to them. They'll even make it like they're really against each other. They'll make you believe it. They'll even throw you some trash about one of them, so maybe you won't vote for him, thinking the election's fair because, ah, that's not a moral person. And then who do you put in the White House? The most immoral person that ever lived on this planet. <laughs> William Jefferson, Communist Clinton. You don't have a choice. That disappeared a long time ago. There's not a nickel's worth of difference between the Democratic and Republican Party and hasn't been for an awful long time.